Hello friends, welcome to another video. Yesterday I did a video, the link is in the description, where I showed how you can compare uh, sales of each month up to the uh, up to today or the uh, or the date we select. So I showed we looked in, we selected the sales up to 10th of January of 2022 and then compared all the previous month sales, calculated all previous month sales up to 10th of each month. In today's video, I'm going to do two things, extension of yesterday's video, this is part two. Um, uh, one thing which I'm going to do is to show how we can have, let's say if we are again taking up to 10th of January 2022, and the same period last year. Uh, we, we, we compare in yesterday's video, current month with the previous month, but we're gonna do the current month of 10th of January with the same uh, up to the uh, 10th of January of 2021 and so forth so on. So let's look at the solution. But before that, I want to uh, look at another use case which I did not add into yesterday's video. So let's first look at that and then we will get to the same period last year. So here in Power BI file, again PBX file, what we have seen yesterday, we have a sales month to date. Now, the one thing I compared in yesterday's video, I took a January sales up to 10th of January and then calculated each month sales up to 10th of that month. And that my year was called as of uh, date, I think. Yeah, so that was uh, sales MTD as of date. So this is, we took the January up to $15,000. That's it, sales up to, uh, just to make sure I show the my year, up to uh, 10th of January and then all the month's sales were calculated up to um, 10th of uh, 10th of their respective month. Now, what I want to do in this video is the first part of this is let's remove um, this for a second. So, our January, the month we are in, assuming we are in January 2022. So, my January, my data is up to 20 sec, I think 28th of January. So, what I want to do is I want to compare my January 2022 data, the month as of today the date we are in, I want to compare the previous month sales up to that date, but all the previous month from December uh, backward, I want to take the full month. For example, so let's say we are on 28th of January, 2022 today, that's the last date uh, the data I have in my system. So I want to compare January, uh, 28th, January, 2022 with the up to uh, a December 1st to December 28th of 2021. So we are comparing January, our current month, with the same number of days with the previous month. But from December 2021, I want to compare because December is already completed. It has the whole full month sales. I want to compare it with the November 2021 full month and then November with October and full month and so forth, so on. So basically, the current month, will we will only compare up to the date with the previous month. Uh, but... Uh, 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 Previous to that month, everything will be the full month. So let's write a measure how we can achieve that. This is going to be very, very quick measure. Uh, so what we're going to go, uh, let's call it uh, sales month to date compare uh, previous month. So the formula, a the, the DAX measure is going to be calculate sales. So sales is our um, so simple sum sales. And then again, uh, what we did, yes, we're gonna calculate dates month to date. And uh, what we're going to do is calculate table. Why we're doing calculate table? Because we want to lock it up to the current date because otherwise if we don't do that, the calendar table has all the dates in it. So if I'm looking in January, 2022, it has 1st January to 31st January. So it will compare uh, the full January month with December, but we want January up to assuming today we are in 28th January. So we want to compare 28th January with the uh, December 28th as well. So we are values. So we are creating it. Values will give us the unique value of all the dates. And then what I'm going to do is um, keep filters calendar date. is less than equal to as of date. So I will create a variable as of date. So this will give me dates month to date. So var as of date. Again, I'm assuming this would be in normal circumstances, it would be today if that's a business case. 
But I'm assuming today is 28th of January because I have a sales up to 20th of January in my system, in, in our data. So what we can say is a date 2022-01-28. So returns, that's our as of date. So what this would give is, this will give me the sales up to um, as of date. So but what we want to compare it with the previous month, so I will move back by one uh, month. So date add. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so so basically, this is important to calculate the variance and uh, to compare the performance. So let's use this uh, measure sales month to date compare PM, because that's what I called it. Let's bring it to an hour. Uh, so I'm going to change this to currency to zero. Oh, sorry, decimal places to zero. All right. So let's look at this, what, what happened here. So in January, we have the sales up to uh, 28th of January, which is 46,000. So that's what is 46,000. And then we go to December. The December total sale is 1.9 million, but we don't want up full compare the January 28 days of January with the full month of December. So we want to compare it with the 28th of December. So the sales up to 20th of December is 1.9 1.9 million. So that's what we are getting here. But when we go back from when we comparing December with um, um, November, because December is already completed, now we can compare the full month. So the full sales in December is 1.92. So that is um, uh, what we're getting here, December 1.921. That's a December sales. But when we go back to November, so it is not up to 28th of November now. This is the full month, 1.825. So that's what it is. So basically what we're doing here is when we are in the current month, we are comparing with the same number of days with the previous month. But when we are in the previous months, we are comparing the full month. So this is what uh, one of the, maybe the requirement. So. Uh, you have so the only thing what we need to do is uh, I just create uh, um, enter the fixed date here but in 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 regular world it will be something like this today so today is fourth uh, fifth of fourth uh, of March fifth uh, of March no fourth of March so I'm comparing fourth of March with the uh, um, uh, will be comparing fourth of March with the fourth of February and then full february with january 2022 so this is this is one of the one of the tweak from yesterday's uh, one of the addition of yesterday's video um, now coming back to today's another comparison what we want to do is we want to compare a january of um, month to date what we calculated yesterday we want to compare the same period last year so let's see how we can do that Okay, let's take a look at this, what that measure would uh, look like. So I'm gonna remove this. So let's bring sale month to date as of date. So again, just to make sure that uh, recall this, uh, we are calculating sales up to 10th of January of 2022, then this sales is a tenth of every month. So we are comparing the same um, number of days. Um, now, what I want to do is January 2022, 10th, I want to compare it with January 2021, or 10th of January. And then December 2021 is, now this is 10th of December. I want to compare it at 10th of um, December 2021. So the measure would be, actually I already created a measure that's called uh, sales month to date um, because it's a, such a small measure uh, it's called previous year I call sales month to date co compare previous year so what we're doing is we're taking our sales month to date as of date measure which is this one and then using the function same period last year I have a series uh, a video on uh, in my DAX time intelligence series there is a video on same period last year and parallel period do check out that uh, video to understand how these function work. So we took the advantage of that the same period last year function here 
and then with the, this is what we created the my year so now let's put this uh, sales month to date compare py in here as well and uh, in our visualization so what we're seeing here is let's let's see what we are we are seeing here uh, just to make sure um, so january 2022nd we have sales up to january 10th 15169 we already know what that is so but now what we are comparing january 2022 with the january 2021 so what that if i go in our raw data here so if you go back to january 2021 so up to 10th of january 2021 our sales is 286000 so that's what we are getting although in January, we have a full sales up to, um, sorry, the total is on the top, uh, 879. But because we are comparing, we are in, assuming we are in January 10th today. So we're comparing January 10th, 2022 with the January 10th of 2021. Again, December 2021, we, we, we calculated this is a 10th of December. So we want to make sure that we are comparing the same December 20. Uh, this will be December 2020. Up to the 10th of December 2020. So let's uh, bring uh, December 2020 here as well since uh, this was filtered. So let's look into December 2021 to make sure our calculations are correct. So if we scroll down all the way to December, so December um, 2020, the sales is up to the 10th of is 198194. So if we go here, so December 2021. In 2021, the sales up to 10th of December is 681, but in December uh, uh, 2020, up to 10th is 198,000. That's what this number is. And other, although the sales in the full December in 640,115. Uh, so now if I visualize this, so now we have a lot of comparison here going on. We are looking at the data at the same level. If I remove same, um, sales month to date, so what I'm seeing here is, so I'm seeing everything up to 10th of January. So we are uh, 10th of the month. So assuming today is 10th of January and our sales is 10th of January. So we're comparing all the previous month up to 10th of January. So this all the uh, as of date is a, a 10th of January. So this is a, uh, let me maximize it to um, to to make sure. So this, when I'm looking at here, I'm looking at October 2021 up to 10th of uh, um, uh, uh, October up to 10th 2021. And now I'm comparing uh, October, uh, this is showing September because of the, because of the continues. And uh, so I'm comparing this September 2021 uh, with uh, with the September 2020 up to 10th so it's not the full month so now everything we are comparing is the date we selected in our our original my year that can be today that can be any fixed date that can be any any filter you have on the page where you select the date and everything is compared up to that date um, again this this my year was a very very small tweak um, you know the compare previous year we took advantage of same period last year but the heavy lifting, all the calculation is done in, uh, again, this is yesterday's video. I will put the link in, in the details as well. Um, the heavy lifting is done, done here. This is where we did the calculation. Let me recap what we did here. So we, we've put the date in a variable. This could be today. This could be last transaction date. This could be a date on your uh, slicer, whatever the max date of the slicer. So whatever date we want to compare, and then we took the max date of calendar date. What does that mean? In the context we are looking at, we are getting the maximum date of that month. So if I'm in December 2021, I'm, this is giving me 31st December. And then I'm comparing if I'm on end of month. Again, this logic was explained in previous video. Do look at that video. And then we're saying if it is end of the month, then get the last date of the month because we want to compare the full month. Otherwise, get the minimum one because we don't want the a go out of the boundary uh, let's say 31st January 2022, we, we don't want November 2021 uh, because there are 30, 30 days in November and we, it goes to the 1st of December. So this is controlling the boundaries that it does not go outside the boundaries. And then here, pretty much what we're doing in calculate table, uh, we are filtering our date table up to the date we calculated. This is where the logic is happening. 
and then we are calculating dates month to date. This question again on the time intelligence comparing the same period and all the stuff middle of the month or the month is not completed. These questions are asked many many times. I hope uh, these two videos help you to uh, uh, you know use the solution in your reporting needs. And uh, again, this logic I showed is on month to date. It can be used on quarter to date. It can be used in the year to date. The 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 only thing you're going to do is. Uh, you know, this is month to date. This will change to year to date and quarter to date. I don't expect there's much tweaking required if you want to do, um, um, uh, for example, we want to compare January uh, of uh, uh, 2022 up to March 4th when I'm doing this video with the same number of days in the previous year and so forth, so on. Let me know what do you think about this video, especially these two videos I did. I'm looking forward for your feedback, your comments. Uh, is the, is the, the, the way I explained did uh, help you to uh, learn a few things. Um, your feedback is always welcome. And um, uh, thanks for watching. Do subscribe my channel. There will be no more videos coming on, uh, in, in coming days. Uh, I'm committed. I will be bringing no more content. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy your weekend. This video most likely will come on March uh, 6th on Sunday. Have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.